Holy cow. I'm just in awe. This boat is amazing. Holy cow. I am so impressed with this boat. What's up everybody? Today I've got hands down the most beautiful 37 foot sailboat that I've ever seen for you all. She's a custom pilot house designed by Paul Gartside, built by an expert shipwright over the course of 20 years. Stick around to the end of the tour for a surprise feature that I'm sure you've never seen in a yacht before. Be sure to do all the usual things and without further ado, here's the tour. All right, guys, I just stepped aboard and holy cow, this, this is an awesome boat. We're gonna go ahead and go forward first. Nice high bulwarks, good handholds that are about chest height going forward. Stainless steel lifelines above those really high bulwarks. So your feet, feet aren't gonna be slipping off this deck anytime soon. It actually looks like there's synthetic rigging on this wooden boat. Very cool mix of technologies. Door raid box. Lots of ventilation, multiple door aids, hatches. Nice clean, clean looking deck, all lines leading aft. Just to port and forward of the mast is the retractable bowsprit, so that's really cool. You don't see that too often in wooden boats. So you can save on mooring fees when you're at the dock. Hank on stay sail right there, roller furring head sail. Wow. I'm just in awe. I'm speechless. I don't I really don't even know what to say. Beautiful rig, beautiful mat, like everything matches. Everything looks like it was carefully thought out and designed. Look at that pilot house. Very cool. Going back to the bow. Vertical windlass. Solar, solar vent, 25 kilo Vulcan anchor on the roller. Looks like that's where the bowsprit sits when you're sailing. Beautiful. You can hardly tell that this boat is wood because it's like, it's so solid. It's so solid, I don't hear a single creak Handholds going all the way aft. Such a well designed, beautiful work of art of a boat. Nice big coach roof, lots of room for solar on either side if you want. Safe side decks. If I had to nitpick, they could be a little bit wider, but hey. I think she's still perfect. Winches in the cockpit, all lines leading aft. Main sheet right here. Winches for your head sails. Boom gallows. My God, it's so nice. This boat is amazing. Canoe stern, worm gear. Steering guys look at how Simple this steering is and foolproof Look at that. I Love it Super easy to service nothing really to go wrong there almost as simple as a tiller, but you got a wheel Got some storage back here Propane locker. And honestly, despite it being canoe stern, you've got a lot of room back here in the cockpit. Very nice. This is really cool. So, there's a roller right here, as well as a block. 
so that you can easily hoist your hard dinghy, which is right there, into the cockpit so that it rests right here when you're at anchor. I would imagine at sea you're going to want it on deck, but when you're at anchor, it'd be nice to have back here. Nice big cockpit. Look at that pilot house. Ooh Love it. And then this whole area right here is storage and you access it from this locker right here. So it's on gas struts, but you've got tons of storage. You got a ladder going down as well. You can get down in there. As you can see, there's sails currently being stored, but down here you're gonna have equipment and storage both sides. Look at this. It goes all the way down there. So obviously we got some sails sitting here, but tons of storage right here. There's the port side coach roof. Again, got some room for solar. Definitely more room on the starboard side because we've got an offset companionway. Let's go ahead and go down below. Holy cow. That is gonna be the, it's gonna be the theme of this walkthrough. I'm just gonna be continually amazed at this boat. Doing a little 360 here. We are in the pilot house and the first thing that you come across when you come down into the pilot house is the dinette. Two little set tees, a table you can sit and eat at and stare off into paradise. Then this rocks back when you want to go to sea go to sea once more and you've got your interior helm position right here protected from any weather beautiful main distribution panel everything you need up here all your instruments you need to pilot the boat gps throttle a true interior helm position and it's super comfortable and super protected you cannot go wrong look at the headliner then to port got a little galley hanging locker some storage gimbaled stove sink look at this countertop beautiful I love the color of the cabinets as well, that green. Design-wise, stylistic-wise, this boat is just expert level all the way around. It's continually being amazed. And then, okay, so, you know, this is the pilot house. It's also, you know, the main salon, really, and the galley, all in one. Beautiful boat, I would say for a couple to enjoy or a solo sailor and then when you come down here you got a big main cabin v-berth up forward again beautiful you can see the varnished hull planks anchor lockers up there and a nice big V-berth, nice and comfortable. And just all around, the woodwork is astonishing. It's beautiful. Just enough wood and just enough paint to go around. Twin little settees here so you can have another little area to sit at. Storage, storage. storage plenty of storage to go around 
And then to port another berth, so you've got a double pilot berth, Pullman style berth. So you can accommodate a guest if you'd like or kids. You are kind of in the same general area down here. So not a heck of a lot of privacy, but that's why I said this boat I think would probably be best for a couple, maybe a small family with young kids like ours. <laughs> And then you've got a big, a big wet head right here. Very comfortable wet head, usable, very nice. And it looks like this whole panel comes out so that you can access the systems that are beyond this because the, the helm is right there, the interior helm position. So very cool. Just forward of that is your, it looks like a diesel, diesel heater. You can also use it to cook on. Right down here in the low part of the boat. So it's gonna be very efficient. And we've got storage everywhere you look. Down below the cabin sole. There you go, you can see those hull planks, some tankage, and engine access is going to be under the pilot house. So I'm going to move this. All right, and the engine is under the pilot house right there. So you can pull up whatever floorboards you need. I believe you can access it from the other side as well. But it is right there, right below the main part of the boat. and. Lots of insulation, so it should be relatively quiet because it has lots of insulation. Very nice. I am so impressed with this boat. Sit at the helm, watching the sea go by, perfectly protected. Sail on the boat, and you can even see your sails. Love it. So this is something really cool that I haven't seen yet before. Underneath this settee that's also the helm seat, there is a bathtub, a literal bathtub that you can use to take a bath, store food, whatever you want to do. But yeah, I think Randy and I, if this was our boat, we'd use this to give the kids baths. Like that's really cool. I like that a lot. And under the aft settee, you've got cold storage. So very cool. All right, it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from Bow to Stern. Thank you. 
So what do you think? Were you as blown away as I was? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I think whomever purchases this boat needs to have an elevated respect for wooden boats, the maintenance involved in ownership, and also how momentous of an accomplishment the completion of this beautiful yacht was. That being said, I think it's the perfect boat for a couple to cruise the Pacific Northwest and farther. As usual, broker contact information and current asking price are in the description below. That's going to be it for this video. Remember to do all the usual things, and I'll see you in the next one. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it